we will download the latest Moodle package. Let's go to Moodle. And go here. Let's go to Downloads. From download, uh, we had the latest one for the time being is 4.4.1 plus. And we're going to download this TGZ file. Okay, so this is uh, the file. Now, as you see, it's downloaded to my local computer. But now what I need is I need to download it to my uh, EC2 instance. So for this reason, I will right click on this link and copy link address so let's go back to our server and now uh, what we are going to do is we're going to use wget and paste this link that we copied from there actually it's here as well now let's hit enter it's being downloaded i think download is complete let's see if it is downloaded okay so here we are we have the file here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move uh, we're going to move an exact package inside HTML directory our HTML directory is here right here so what I'm going to do is I will use MV functionality okay um, and let me copy this here paste it here so I will move it to var www html. Oh, okay. So it didn't work. I need to put sudo before. Okay. So it's gonna work now. All right. I think we we moved it there. So let's go into this folder var html. Right now we are in html. So Let's list the files there. So we have our Moodle file here. We're going to extract our package. So we need to start with sudo tar xf and let me copy again file name and paste. Now it's being extracted. I think extraction is complete. Let's check it. Let's clear everything. So let's check our folder. As you can see, our model folder is here. So our package is extracted. Next thing we are going to do is we're going to create a model data inside of a www folder. So right now we're in, in HTML and let's go back to www folder CD. Now sudo make their Moodle data all right so our Moodle data is created so next thing we're go going to do is we're going to give necessary permission and we will set the owner as www-data I will simply click and paste all right so let's check the owner of this uh, folder right now ls l you see, uh, now the owner of this folder is www.data and HTML is root. That's what we need. With the data directory set up, it's time to create Moodle database, okay? So database will store all the Moodle's data, such as user accounts, course information, and everything. Now let's log into the MySQL shell to create the da database and user for Moodle sudo mysql u root p i haven't set a password for mysql yet so i will simply hit enter if you already created password or if you are given password you need to type your password here i will simply hit enter so here we are in mysql so first thing we are going to do is we're going to create database i'm going to copy this part and paste here and explain everything in the script so create database and this is database name you can go ahead and change it and I'm going to just keep it as it is and now let's hit, hit enter 
so we created our database next we're going to create a user and password for the user so we will run this script here here you need to put your own username whatever user you want and you need to enter your password so please make sure you change them because these are not secure username and password but for the sake of simplicity i will just keep it as it is hit enter it is created and next thing we're going to do is we're going to grant privilege to the user so i will hit enter finally we will uh, run flash privileges to apply all these images so after creating database we're going to exit my scroll shell we'll simply type exit now we're back in our bash shell now that our Moodle database is ready and data directory is set up let's start the Moodle installation process through the web browser this is where we will set up our Moodle's initial configuration now we're going to open a web browser and navigate to EC2 instances public address to start the installation process and uh, let me open my instance and then he here is the public uh, IP address let's copy it and I'm going to open a new tab and paste here and remember we installed Moodle inside of HTML and then inside of HTML we have Moodle folder so I need to type Moodle and here is the installation page now here we will simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Moodle installation so I'm going to select the language which is English in my case and click next here we are going to confirm the paths let's scroll down so this is my uh, address this is IP address and slash Moodle that's correct and here is the place where our Moodle directory sits that's correct and then here is the Moodle data inside of www and then I will simply click next so uh, here we're going to choose uh, MySQL and here is the place where we are going to enter our database information so here what we need is database user database password and database name if you remember we have all the information here so my username is Moodle user so in your case you need to enter your username and here is the username and my password is here very secure password okay paste here and remember our database name is Moodle so it's Moodle already here that's it so we'll click next this is the final configuration page where we have all the information we need for our config.php file we're going to uh, create this file inside of our Moodle folder so what we need is we need to just copy everything here all the way down here copy and we will go back to our terminal we're going to cd into our Moodle folder cd html cd Moodle uh, let's check what we have inside yes we have everything we need here so we're going to create our config.php file and we're going to use nano for it okay. so so sudo nano config php hit enter i will paste everything that i copied earlier so right now we're going to save it i will uh, control s to save it and then control x to exit so let's see if uh, config.php file is created here it is so let's go back to our installation page and we're going to click next Okay. All right. 
So we will click continue. All right, let's scroll down and check if there is any problem. And let's take a look at the status and everything looks okay. We have PHP and uh, everything is okay, except for this one. So we need to fix this problem because it's red. We don't have to worry about the yellow one, but the red, red ones must be fixed. Otherwise we cannot continue. Let's fix it. We'll go back to our terminal again. We will go to cd etc php. Let's go. Let's see what is inside. So our PHP version is 8.3 and let's go into this folder. Let's check it again. Then we will go to Apache 2 cd. Okay, and then here we have this php.ini file. So we need to modify this one. So let's go to sudo again and nano php.ini. Okay. All right, so we open it and we are going to search for this keyword max ini wars. Let me copy it. All right, so we're going to search using control W. So let me paste it. So as you see, uh, we have max underscore input underscore vars. First of all, we need to uncomment it. Secondly, we need to make this a minimum 500. I'm going to save it, control S, and I'm going to exit control x so we need to restart a apache we need to start apache we we need to type sudo system ctl restart restart apache 2 it restarted now let's refresh the page so right now uh, everything is fine so we don't have to worry about this and we will deal with this one later let's continue all right now installation is complete let's continue once database setup is complete you will be prompted to configure the admin account so the username I'm going to use, uh, keep admin, I will enter a password, it should be a strong password. And I will keep username as eduhub AI and last name is LMS, Learning Management System. I need to enter an email address, let me enter here eduhub AI, gmail.com. All right, uh, so it will be visible to everyone. I will just keep the rest as default and click update profile. Now we need to enter full site name. I'm going to call it Eduhub AI Learning Management System. And short name, I will call it Eduhub AI LMS. And if you want, you can enter summary here and uh, I will just skip it. And we need to type an email address, support email. I will call it eduhubaigmail.com. Probably that's it. I will just click save changes and see if everything is okay. That's it. We have successfully installed Moodle on our Ubuntu server and our website is up and running and ready to be used. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified of new videos. If you have any questions or run into any issues, leave it a comment below and I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.